you know, if you have a 15 or 16 year old daughter, you know, they can be a real pain in the ass. Is it possible that this daughter just got them in trouble somehow? Like, you know, said that they were doing all of oh, this. Sure. Uh, oh, yeah. I antagonized the them almost into doing this. I called the know? police on my mom because she wanted me to clean my room when I was younger. <laughs> and they showed up and I was like, all right. This bitch is about to go down. Face on you, bitch. She's about to go down. And then Uh they immediately were like, clean your room or we're going to arrest you, basically. And I was like, oh, (laughs) this is not going in my favor. (laughs) So, yeah, I think. How uh, old were you at the time? Probably 12, 13. Was that your first run in with the North Ridgeville Police Department? Is that what set you on the trajectory of being one of North Ridgeville's most wanted? Probably not. Well, actually, no, at the time, yeah, it probably was, because why I, I called them. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm not trying yeah. to make me clean my room. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, How do you think that goes out through dispatch? 911, what's your emergency? Hey, listen up. I need you to send someone over right now. What's the nature of your emergency, sir? My mom is abusing me. She's making me clean my room against my will. She's abusing her power. I understand you're upset, sir, but is there any immediate danger or threat to your safety? Yes. The threat of being subjected to this oppressive regime. This is a violation of my rights. Sir, I can assure you that making you clean your room is not a violation of your rights. Have you tried discussing this with your mom? I don't negotiate with authoritarians. I demand you send officers right now to arrest her for tyranny. This is unacceptable. We usually don't intervene in domestic disputes over these things. You should probably clean This is an outrage. I'll remember this. Good work, guys. How can you be so useless at your job? All right, sir. Please try to resolve the situation peacefully. Goodbye. Did you call 911, or how did you? Yeah, it's the only number I knew. I didn't know the (laughs) non-emergency. Kind of just assumed the police wouldn't show up. I was like, all right, well, that's settled. They're not coming on my, they're not coming to arrest her for making me clean the room. But all right, we'll just forget that ever happened. And then, you know, 15 minutes later, they knock on the door, and I go, oh, geez, this is bad.